Hey guys, today we are talking about the Q Honey Badger SBR Chambered in 300 Blackout. The Q Honey Badger is a highly sought after rifle in the firearm community, but is it really worth the cost? We're going to be taking a closer look at the specs and features, including the stock and the trigger, and discussing whether this rifle is more of a buy it for the name or a worthwhile investment. Let's jump into it and talk about the cost. First off, the cost of the Honey Badger is for this seven inch FDE rifle comes out to $2,900, which is certainly on the high end of 300 blackouts. But one big thing about the Q Honey Badger is that it is the original 300 blackout rifle, originally built for Advanced Armament Corporation, who was owned by Remington at that time. And when all of that debacle happened there, the creator of the rifle and round left and created Q. It's definitely a high quality firearm. I believe that I could probably build something similar, not exactly the same, for a little less, but this gun is a tried and true gun, and I think it's a well-built firearm for what it is. Would I personally buy this firearm? No. Is it because I'm cheap? Yes. I have a 300 Blackout. I just finished building it with Silencer Co., and I like my gun a little bit more than I like this one. I've shot this multiple times over the years, and other than the stock, I really wouldn't spend this much on a 300 Blackout SBR. Let's move on to pros versus cons. The first and biggest pro to this gun is that it is a well-built firearm and everything is controlled. It has a very nice fit and finish to it. Everything is thought out and taken care of. The biggest con for me is the price coming in at just under $3,000 for an AR that's an SBR. You're gonna be dropping well over 3,000 before you're even done, maybe even more. Depending on what optic you put on this just to get this gun up and running, that's way too much. Those are really the only cons I have for this. I do like that the Cherry Bomb is a tapered muzzle device for their suppressors, and I think their suppressors are really well built. But let's move on to our testing. Now this particular firearm belongs to a client of ours, and they were gracious enough to give us the ability to test this firearm for them. Really appreciate them for that. See, Q is not a company that sends out their firearms or suppressors to reviewers, as everybody knows their names. They are a household name typically in the AR community, as they are the founders of the 300 Blackout. They also have this really awesome new round called the 8.6 Blackout, and I'm really looking forward to doing some reviews on that round this coming year. With this rifle, we shot all supersonic ammunition. I did not have any subsonic ammunition, nor did I have a Q suppressor to mount to it at the time, so I was unable to give you guys the full experience of what this rifle sounds like when it's whisper quiet. Being that it's an AR-15, it ran exactly like the AR-15 you would expect. It does have a crisp, clean Geisley two-stage trigger in it. It does have all the ambidextrous controls. Well, I guess it doesn't. We'll need to talk about that and the specs. Overall, this gun, I just enjoy shooting the 300 Blackout. This is truly the pinnacle of what the 300 Blackout was designed for. Let's talk about the specs. Going from back to front, we have a two position PDW stock, a 70 degree safety selector that actually is ambidextrous, a Geisley trigger in here, it is two stage. We have an adjustable gas block on top of a seven inch barrel with a one and five inch barrel twist. The weight comes out to four pounds, eight ounces unloaded without suppressor. It does come with 130 round magazine. It doesn't come with an optic, so be prepared for that. Now what I meant by it's not fully ambidextrous, well, you don't have the bolt hold on both sides. Something that is interesting about this gun though, is that it doesn't come with a dust cover. I thought that was interesting because most ARs and 300 Blackout and 5.56 do come with one. Even the Sugar Weasel comes with a dust cover. But honestly, we don't really need them in this world of shooting. The finish on this gun is a clear, hard coat, anodized aluminum top and bottom receiver. Be aware that there may be some shade variations between the top and bottom. The muzzle device is a standard 5 8 by 24 thread muzzle device, so if you want to change that out to your particular suppressor, you're welcome to do that. 
Overall, the length of this gun is 20 inches. With the stock fully extended, it comes out to 25 inches. The handguard is six inches with M-lock rails on it. It does use all mil spec parts, so if you guys wanna go and change anything out, you're welcome to do that. I do wanna talk about Q suppressors. They have two 7.62 cans, the Trash Panda and the Thunder Chicken. So you have some options for this rifle. Let me give you guys my final thoughts. I think this is a great gun. I think its build is just fantastic. It has most of the features I want. I will say I would have loved to have seen it with an ambidextrous bolt hold release. I'll show you guys that here, but sadly it doesn't. I think that Q does a fantastic job of making suppressors from their Thunder Chicken to their Trash Panda and even their old line of the Nelsons. They have been working hard on that new caliber, the 8.6 Blackout, that is, I think is just going to hit the world by storm. But I wouldn't buy this gun. Mostly because the price tag is just too much for a 300 Blackout SBR. If you think it's worth it for you, that's awesome. Go out and get it. But it doesn't match the perceived value for me. So I'll stick to my 300 Blackout builds. I do want to thank Q for their innovations and, well, I'm just going to go about my day. Now for my comment of the day, I want to know, do you guys think the $3,000 price tag is worth it? Leave it in the comments down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you are notified every time we put out a new video. Make sure you follow us on social media so you get all of the things that are coming in, like the honey badger and the sugar weasel. We're going to also be doing some side-by-side -side video of that. See you guys in the next video. Peace.